So we are on the map world. On the top left side we have the red Isengard player. Gimli Dog starting Gimli Dog starting with a Fornes Fornes and a Urupit. I mean World big map you don't need a Fornes. His ally is the green Rohan player uh, Eowyn. I mean he's playing it's her faction. Play against the yellow Gondor player Death Eater with his ally is Mordor. No, it's Isengard. The blue Isengard player Neo. So we have an Isengard Gondor against Rohan and Isengard another Union, Saruman and Theodin are again friends. Watch is being used by Neo to try and secure Lamborghini. Was able to secure this. Another watch is being used, and these are a bit more damaged. So the red Urukai should win, but this is kind of a weird spot to play on. So it can go both ways, to be honest. Gimli being in that spot reminds me of that one time where I smashed him in that game. Okay, <laughs> more Urus are pushing from the red player. Mills being captured, peasants are being moved, capturing here, and probably they will push here. Soldiers now with the Hobbit can try and creep the lairs here, can go for the lair, can get a level 2 soldiers and a level 3 Hobbit, and with that you can easily creep the war, and with that easily creep this one. Was not able to kill this, and... Latino, Latino gift. 19 gifted a tier 1 sub to Garvin360. They that's have given two gift subs in the channel. That's a bit uh, loud, but it works. Thank you, Latino, for the gifted sub. On Gavin. I mean, with this sub, I guess I need, I need to play on uh, 1.9, right? <laughs> okay. Ulsa are dealing damage. Can I take it down? How many workers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 workers repairing at the same time Neo's farm, Neo's mill. Okay, they are still repairing it. More. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 workers. 10 workers repairing the mill. How can you stop that, bro? How can you stop that? Look how, look how fast it's regenerating, you see? Boom, 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 full HP already. Okay, now full watch and it. There are three watch and it do Urukai that are moving. Watch it for both the players. Now, with the, ooh, the Berserker can set the day. He wants to go for the out for the saddle. Can the saddle be taken down? There are 4,000. I don't think the saddle will be taken down. There are too many four uh, towers, and there is also a Berserker that can deal damage. Look at the damage. It will not be able to take it down. Four Nessies that can help with the economy and. It will be defeated. Defended. Not even out of damage. And Latino. 123. And Latino just gifted the sub. And uh, just sub, sorry. Not gifted, sub. And I'm subbing Moises, I guess. Thank you for the sub, Latino. And also for the gifted sub. Appreciate that. For that, next time when we play BFME, I will let you win. <laughs> Imagine that happening. Maybe in another universe. I know and I'm, I'm, you are not bribing me. <laughs> I was just joking. Okay, the Red Eisinger player is creeping. I mean, I already said in September that I would like to try 1.09 if the pros are there. Just so I can get better because in 2.2 2, they are not really pros active beside you. Yeah, this sub's farmed by Twitch. I don't know, man. If I should open that, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, the Bizekers are dealing damage. Urus on the top also dealing damage. So now. Because of that failed push, the red Isengard player has an advantage in terms of the map. The Berserker is sitting, I don't know what's sitting, but now he needs to move back. Lures will also be kept, will also be made. Lures made a button next to Lord. Nantino was playing for years, I think. Boromir, dealing damage. Bam, bam, bam. He will get level 4 from this creep. The Gondor player, can they 
effective in this game, I can say. Not really participating in a lot of lots of fighting. He only sending Faramir on top to help his ally. But other than that, he's just doing good. <laughs> and now Gavin is giving us up to Zoro997. Gavin 360 gifted a tier 1 sub to Zoro997. They have given three gift subs in the channel. <laughs> I mean, I'm also 19 years old, so... <laughs> I'm playing a game that, was, that is older than me. And Gondor will be able to get this captured outpost. So you're going for the archer. So Gondor was not doing much, not participating overall in the map. But was able to get the creeps here. Also here, maybe. Creeping here, and he got Boromir. Boromir is level 5. One of Gondor will be really, really good. Now Rohan getting some Rohirims. They are gonna smash these ones, but I don't know. Faramir also level 4. Rohan moving on top side, they have the heavy armor, Rohan going for the heavy armor. Maybe he wants to try and go for the base for a bit. Lourdes is there. Lourdes can try to creep her, he was able to scout the Rohirrim attack. He can try to creep her, Watson will be used. I mean, there is no Teodin, Teodin was left alone. Watson was used on his ally. I mean, for the for the Rohirrims, if he wants to go for the base, but I guess he's a bit too scared, no, doesn't. Not yet prepared to go for all the mighty base. Eo win. He's not yet ready. Asgard expanding. So now the left team is expanding quite nicely. Getting outpost here, farm here, farm here, outpost here, farm here. Just doing good. Gondor going for the marketplace. Just going for the late game play. He wants the late game. Now. Pagman are moving the back, keeping close with the Rohirrims. And these players are not doing much, preparing for the attack, for the defense. Uh, Isengard collaborating with Gondor. Gondor again playing the slow way. Lourdes going around, still level 1. Rohirrims now will move on the right side. I mean, they can actually push, don't have a lot of Pagman, not Tau guards. They're doing damage. Oh, wait, we have a hype train actually oh, going around. That I think that's my first hype train ever. Thank you guys so much for that. Pyman's dealing damage. They want to get the map control back. Combos for Isengard. He's going now for the upgrades. The outpost will be taken down. Isengard has Saruman now. Uh, who is this? Give me the going for the Saruman. And now they're going for the base. The Dini is therefore not the best because he's taking the focus from the towers. When Nigero will be used. Glorious charge is up. Oh! This guy got Glorious Charge and they're going, the Horn of Gondor will be useless because he's, this guy is level 3 giving free resistance. Combos are being taken down, Tharma is also in the back, they're fighting in the Pagman, the Creeper will be used on this loot, other loot will kill Faramir, will get level 5, now that means he he has he does him nice fireball, but he's kinda, he's going, kinda going down slowly, heal was also already being used so there is no more heal. And Lourdes will be taken down, still not gonna be used anymore. And this um, this Lourdes is level 2. Saruman needs to run. There is no help pro coming from the Rohan player. He's going for a blast. Nice blast. So basically, Lourdes, Lourdes crippled each other. Ah, he's based at Tino 19. We <laughs> have to see that again some high, high uh, player games, pro player games. Like the one uh, there was uh, Torin against Latino. Rohan just fighting the Ro the Pagman, trampling them over and over, but we should fight them in melee, really. Look, 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 look. Kind of losing like that. We should fight them in melee, really. Let's go. Saruman, level 6, going with two combos. I mean. They are no knights for the Gondor player, so why not? Gandalf the White will come on the field. Let's see the power points from the start. So we have Isengard. We have uh, Gilidog Isengard, the, this Isengard player that has Merchant and Industry. We have um, Neo, the other Isengard player that has Merchant and Industry. Three power points, three power points and more. So this player has a bit of an advantage. 
We have uh, the golden player, Dead Eater. He has uh, heal and uh, get out of the white. No more power points. And Rohan, that has heal, draft, and two more power points. So, the t left him a bit of an advantage there with the power points department. It's also going for the outpost. Let's see. Two combos there. They should be strong. Lures, level 5. Will give leadership. There is Theodin that's giving leadership. Maybe Aragorn can come up for the Rohan player to give leadership. Also, Rohirrims could try and fight around here because these are still level 3. They also have Grand Harvest. Now, Gondor, I guess, is just making combos to go for the top side. Faramir was taken down. He's level 4, not being revived by the Gondor player. Now, let's check. Uh, I think I'm just making some combos. Says one normal combo and two combos with Pagman. Gondor has two Taugar combos and two normal combos with a Gandalf that is roaming around the field. Rohan was able to capture this one, the sneaky little out outpost capture, deleting the units. Gimme Dog is pinging. I don't know why he, maybe Grand Harvest? Or I don't know why he is pinging here. I really don't know why he is pinging here. Gimme Dog is this guy, no? Yeah, I don't know why was th what was this ping. Okay, the team is going for the outpost, but now this team is going for the base. Two tiles have, have been taken down, also deleted. There are also Rohirrim archers. Now, Glorious Charge can be insane. Maybe Glorious Charge plus land, that can smash. Sar uh, Lourdes is there, Canv is there, Saruman not even in the making. Maybe he was saying for Saruman. Now, Glorious Charge, Glorious Charge, Glorious Charge is being used. I don't hear glowing. A stealing damage and now they're going for the trample here. Beaut no no blast! But now Gandalf will be creeper. They're focusing everybody is focusing Gandalf and Gandalf will be killed. Todd is removing the back. They're not really trampling. Todin is still alive. They're fighting there is also leadership from Saruman in the back. There is loot leadership somewhere here. I think. And they're fighting loot is in the front, actually level 7 loot. That comes at the damage. Now the Rohirrims are also in the back. Saruman will be crippled. But then they are focusing Lurz, Lurz is run. Don't know where is that, Lurz, Lurz is level 2, there is Bormir that is giving also leadership. They are fighting, and I don't know who is winning this fight. I guess the Rohirrims will go in, they are winning the fight. Now Saruman has been killed, because Rohan is not really helping. There is also Theodin leadership in the back, but they are fighting, and definitely the left team are gonna win this uh, battle. More Rohirrim archers are coming. To just help and uh, they kind of won this fight with cannot being killed uh industry beacon but he missed probably <laughs> rain is being used but i don't know by who by the by this player by nails no, they don't have any more leadership but also this player can use rain whenever he wants argon is coming on the field i want this game lasting so many minutes that's why this i saw this game was lasting like uh, I don't know, 30 minutes and something and i was wondering how did this game last 30 and something minutes well this is why this game will last 30 minutes <laughs> well i really want to see how they are gonna attack this one that little sneaky little guy sneaky little guy now Isengard also quit so the money from Isengard are transferred to gondor but gondor still doesn't have money or at least that much money he has some combos outside, but he has more command points now, so that means more trebuchets. Okay, this is gonna be oh, such a suffer game, I think. This is gonna be such a suffer game if uh, Gondor. I mean, you can say Baro can destroy whole base, but if Gondor is not allowing any power points, then it will be hard. So we start coming up. The world is already. Looking beautiful, the gate is already looking beautiful. Now he, wa now he wants to get the the arrows, the can't keep them. battle tower and keep archers. The laser tower, I think it was called. Yeah, I mean, you should make towers while you have this one on the field because you make you have uh, them cheaper. Now we can try to go for some blast here, kill some rock hitims, outpost. Was also captured. There is Boromir. Why is Boromir? He has a flag outside. The this is the most 
trap thing that you can do to have an, the flag outside the base. Outside the base. Trebuch is moving around the base now. He's trying to hold. Oh, no, he's going for more trebuchets. Isengard capturing and Rohan should have enough money for the uh, end mood. And he has enough money to be honest. Okay, Stonewalker, you are just being annoying. It's lame and you just admit you lost. And go for another game. Didn't think that it is such a lame one to be honest. I mean, he just wanted to win this game, you know. I don't know what to say about that. He just wants to be funny. Okay, I'm here. Let's see what's happening. I mean, I sorry, I just need to mute my microphone because my mother came in and said that we need to go in the holiday. She wants to go in Greece. I don't know this Saturday, Sunday. I was not prepared for that, but I hope not because I want to finish the tournament. Okay, Boromir is leveling up, but Boromir, you don't want to level up outside the base. And he's dead. Sure, but to admit the loss is obvious. I mean, I also played it one time against Necromaster in a 2v1 where he was Gondor. He went for Stormwalker. Man, I was so pissed that game because he was pushing with Gandalf everywhere. He had two castles. It was just a shit show. I, I rage fitted that game. One hour wasted. Yeah, ne Necromancer, yeah. Yeah, it was such a bad game, to be honest. Another siege will start. We have, uh, I think we have also the laser towers. Uh, not making them. I don't know exactly why. Now the and mood nice. See, I mean, we should just watch powerpoints from Gondor for powerpoints like it. And are there? Look the damage, by the way. Now combos are being moved in the front. Boromir not being, I mean, his money is not the greatest. He's also making statue there. He only has the furnaces inside the base and a farm here. There is siege from this side and there is siege from this side. Look, bam, 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 bam. He cannot even go. Bam. Bam. Go for the damage. Get okay, any berserkers in front. Fireball. Nice fireball. Berserker is dead. Get this open. The ants are slowly destroying one part of the world. Tibet needs to be made. Let's see. Now combos are moving and are still inside the base, not doing much. He cannot also even move outside the base freely because uh, he's been he can be crippled. Says out so terrible in my bows. Yeah, five four points already for Gondor. I mean, he still has enough. How he has this combo here? I mean, if I would be him, I would get a farm here and I'll push it three farms. That, that, that can be good. Now, this was taken down. I mean, if he can make three here, that is also giving extra range to the ants. Now, I'm outside, trying to do some shooting against. No, but gate is being killed. It's also. Destroying some part of the wall, I think, which is being used. And now, and now this guy wants to go in. There, is, there are four trebuchets inside the base. Sarman will be the first to fireball this one. Now, there are no more in front, but they are very clumped. They are very clumped. Gandalf! Level 5! Boom! Level 7! Gandalf! They are moving. Gorgeous is being used. This guy is being people out there fighting. Cloudbreak is being used. There's the images. Damage. Imagine the, sto the laser towers here dealing extra damage. At least that go for that one. But I think this is the end of Gondor. I mean, if Gondor had more towers, that would be the definition of lame. This case did not really work out. And GG's well played. It was interesting to see a stone walker in a game.